Hey guys, so Cece back with another video, obviously, and no, you are not reading the title wrong. Yes, it's right. I boiled my synthetic wig. Oh my God. This was such a fun experiment, you guys. So as you can see, I had this crusty, dusty wig sitting around one of my favorite wigs and I was about to throw it out and I was like, you know what? Let me see what would happen if I boil it. I was sitting around watching videos by Sophiology, Sophology, and she did the same thing with her human hair wig. So I said, will it work on synthetic hair? Let's see. So before you get to the end of this video and check out my results, go ahead and take a second and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if you thought it worked or not. And then go back and reply to that comment and let me know if you were right. <laughs> All right, so getting right into this, we are going to start boiling the hair. I let this water boil, like get to boiling. I think it took about 15 minutes. I let it sit on the stove. And then I used this silicone mix. This is the same little deep conditioner restructure restructure that sophology I think I'm saying her name right I'll put her name in the description box but this is the same little reconstruction that she used in the video I got it from Amazon I'll also link that in the description box as well and I just kind of eyeballed it and put two scoops in there and then went ahead and stirred it around until it got to a nice concoction I don't even know what I was looking for I've never done anything like this before so yeah. So now it's time to add the hair to the water. I was so afraid to do this. I just knew this wig was not going to make it back. So I'm putting it in the water right now. It was very, very, very hot. So keep that in mind. Obviously, it's boiling water. Just keep that in mind. It's going to be extremely hot and the heat does rise like through the wig. So I was kind of holding the wig by the combs and like, I thought the combs were going to melt. So I, it was that hot and obviously it's boiling water. But I was just very afraid. As you can see, I keep dipping it in there, taking it out, dipping it in, taking it out because I was trying to find the best way to get it all in there. And I'm using tongs, but it was just, it was just super, super hot. So be very careful if you try this. So right here, this is just me honestly just playing with the hair, making sure that it's still on the weft. I just knew this wig was going to be bald when I pulled it up because it was just so hot. I was so afraid and I'm just pulling it up, making sure that the hair is still intact and I let it sit in this water and boil in this water on medium high heat for about 15 minutes. I just let it soak in there. I left it alone eventually and just let it sit there again for about 15 minutes. After that time has passed, I went ahead and pulled the wig out. Have a towel or something ready right there because again, it's extremely hot. I can't stress that enough. You will burn the shit out of yourself if you do not. So I'm just gonna put the hair on the towel, fold it up, and then I let it air dry overnight. I forgot to mention that here where I saw the hair tangle a little bit, I just pulled out some of the tangles that I saw and I don't know, I was just kind of playing with it to see how it felt and I was just pulling some of the tangles apart because it was still tangled a bit when I took it out of the water. So 
So I let the hair completely air dry and here it is right here. As you can see, the back is still a little matted and tangled. I don't think anything's gonna help that. I don't know, if you guys know what will, let me know. But the back is still a bit matted and tangled. However, the rest of the hair actually looks really good and moisturized. The hair was very dry and very rough before I boiled it, but it just looks really nice and moisturized now. Very soft feeling and I really love this method. So I'm just gonna try it on right here so you guys can actually see how it looks on my head. And I was very pleased with the results. Like I said, it was still matted a bit in the back, but I don't know, I feel like that's to be expected. It's synthetic hair and the wig cost me like 12 bucks. So you get what you pay for, right? But I think overall this method was effective. I did get a few shed hairs also after this method, so keep that in mind. So here I am just kind of pulling out the shed hairs right here. I got some, not a whole bunch, and again, very pleased with the method. So if I do this again, one thing to note, I would wash the hair afterwards with a conditioner, I'll say co-wash, because that silicone mix has a very strong smell. So I would definitely co-wash the hair or even just use water and rinse that smell out. I think that would have been the best thing. It's not a terrible smell, but it's just not something that... I have to smell all the time you know I so I'd probably rinse that out but other than that the hair looks really really good it feels really good and I am happy so I think I'm gonna try this on some human hair you guys so make sure you stay tuned for part two if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel like thumbs up this video and also follow me on my social media my Instagram my snapchat and also my Facebook fan page I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and I'll talk Talk to you in the next one. Bye guys!